And here we go. So for the first picture, good luck on the dictation, everybody. Got a burn? Bad skin? Ulcers? How about some ground-up cockroaches? A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. And you can type in your dictation in the questions. Got a burn, bad skin, ulcers? Got a burn, bad skin, ulcers? Got a burn, bad skin, ulcers? How about some ground-up cockroaches? How about some ground-up cockroaches? How about some ground-up cockroaches? A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. All right, so Sergey has given me some, Santa too. I'll read it three more times. Listen carefully. Got a burn, bad skin, ulcers. How about some ground up cockroaches? A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. Got a burn, bad skin, ulcers. How about some ground up cockroaches? A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. And one more time. Got a burn, bad skin, ulcers? How about some ground up cockroaches? A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. All right, so two of you have given me answers. Uh, Sergey and Santa Raisin have given me their answers. If anybody else has typed out the answers, you can add them to the question bar. Good. Enrica has also uh, given me her answers. And I'm going to show you, first of all, Sergey's. So this, I'm going to copy it here. Hold on a second. And I'll put it right here on the screen. And this is, uh, this is what Sergey typed. Got a burn, bad skin, ulcers. How about some ground up cockroaches? A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. Let me turn on Sergey's mic. Sergey, can you please read your answers for us? It might take a second for the microphone. Sergey, can you read your answers, please? <laughs> uh, Shane, uh, do, do you mean uh, the gear from old school? Yeah, read, read what you gave me. Read what you typed. No, Sh Shane, it, it wasn't my answer. Oh. Well, then whose did I get? Ah, that was Santa Raisins. Thank you. Santa, can you read this, please? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sergey. Santa, go ahead. I'll, I need to turn on Santa's mic. Ah, too many things to do. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Santa, please read what you have here. People, okay, okay, um, can you hear me now? Yep. Okay. Gonna burn bad skin ulcers? How about some ground cock? Cockroaches, a special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, in deep fried, they're a good source of protein too. Excellent job. Every word is absolutely perfect. Punctuation are your only problems. And I would just add uh, this, and we could even add a comma here. 
Um, but she did a fantastic job. I'm very, very impressed. Um, oops. Yeah, uh, really excellent job. Um, and can you read it one more time, please, a little bit slower? Got a bird basking ulcers? How about some ground up cat juice? A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, they are a good source of protein too. Excellent job, excellent job. Let me just hit two two words here. I'm just gonna give you American pronunciation. Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Mm, do you like cockroaches? No. <laughs> Why not? I've, I've held one in my hand once. It was painful. You had one in your hand once? They make you touch them at um, um, Smithsonian Museum. So you went to the <laughs> Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C., and they made you touch a cockroach? Well, they didn't force me, but it was just recommended. It was wrecking. I was a child. So. Oh, my goodness. All right, all right. That sounds crazy. I would have killed the cockroach. <laughs> and this word, too. Protein. 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 Excellent Protein. job. Once again, he did fantastic. Great job. Uh, Santa Raisin is hardcore. Very tough. Great job. I'm going to uh, move to Enrica. Enrica, and I'm going to copy her answers here. Hold on a second. Okay, Enrica, can you read your answers, please? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, got to burn bad skin, ulcers. How about some um, ground up cockroaches? Mm. A special breed of these creatures may be coming to the hospitals near you. Oh, and deep right, uh, they're a good, good source of protein too. You did a great job, great job. Now, obviously, this word was wrong. Uh, what's this word? Do you know, Enrica? Uh, which one? Uh, I, can you see? I don't, I'm not sure which screen you're seeing. Hopefully... Uh, are you... Yes, yes. I don't know what uh, that means. Okay, so oh. the word was ulcers, U-L-C-E-R-S, okay? So I'll explain mm -hmm. that in a second. And this is a tough one, too. Lots of students probably wrote gotta, gotta, G-O-T-T-A. But you have to be careful because G-O-T-T-A actually means got to, and in this situation, I actually said got a, but it sounds the same. The sound is going to be exactly the same, got to burn, and for example, got to go, got to go, got to go. So the sound is the same, so we really have to be careful. I'm going to mute the mics here. I got some echo. Uh, we really have to be careful with what if, are we talking about verbs or nouns? The sound is the same. Got a burn, bad skin, ulcers. How about some ground up cockroaches? Okay, you did a great job here, except it's just cockroaches. Oops, with a yes, cockroaches. A special breed of these creatures may be coming to, I think it's just hospitals. Yeah, to a hospital. Yes, coming to a hospital. So it was singular here, uh, a hospital near you, okay? So let me uh, practice this pronunciation with Enrica. Let me turn your mic back on, Enrica. Hold on a second. So I think a lot of students do have a hard time with the R and the W. So uh, can you say, Enrica, can you say a hospital near you? A hospital near you. Perfect. That's right. The R sound sounded really good. Uh, not new, but near. Great job. Uh, oh, and deep fried. They're a, they're a good source and spelling source of 
protein, and it's actually E-I-N, protein spelling. Uh, so, Enrica, if we talk about a source of protein, what does that mean? Um, a source of protein? Uh, well, give me an example. Means... What's an example of a good source of protein? Uh, well, for, well, for the most people, uh, when they speak about protein, um, they think about meat, fish, and uh, something else. Yeah, especially, and, uh, yeah. Uh, and as I am a vegetarian, a good source of protein for me uh, is beans and vegetables. Very good, very good. Uh, so since you're a vegetarian, let me ask, is broccoli a good source of protein? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, what not about lettuce? Everybody. Lettuce. I don't know, actually. I don't eat lettuce. You're a vegetarian and you don't eat lettuce? <laughs> I just don't like lettuce. What about mushrooms? Mushrooms, yes, mushrooms uh, are okay sometimes, but I don't really like mushrooms. You don't like mushrooms? I'm, I'm, very, I'm very picky. <laughs> Well, that's okay. You can. It's your diet. You can be picky. But I feel sorry for your friends who want to eat with you. <laughs> uh, I don't. <laughs> you don't, don't have friends. bother each other. Uh, you don't bother <laughs> other people. Yes, and mostly we don't eat too much. We only drink beer, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Is beer a good source of protein? Uh, no. <laughs> it no. is not. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Yes. And by the way, I hate cockroaches very much. I, I'm really afraid of them. Are you afraid of them? Do you like run away? Yes. I want uh, to scream and run away somewhere <laughs> as fast as possible. Now, do you have cockroaches in Sahalin? Uh, yes, I have a lot of them there, very big. <laughs> but isn't it, isn't Sahalin cold? Uh, yes, it is uh, rather cold. It's a rather cold region. But the cockroaches don't uh, mind. Yeah. I'm afraid cockroaches uh, don't afraid of cold. <laughs> that sounds scary, that sounds scary. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about ulcers in a minute. Thank you very much, Enrica. Um, I'm going to Daniel. Now, now Daniel, I'm going to turn your mic on. Uh, Daniel got a burn. And once again, Daniel had the same problem. Got a uh, and got a, G-O-T-T-A. So remember, Daniel, that sound is the same, but the, the usage is different, right? Yeah, right. right. It's actually, it doesn't make any sense. It, no. That's right. It, it doesn't make sense. That's right. Uh, so Daniel said, got to burn bad skin ulcers. How about ground up cockroaches? A special breed of this, these creatures, these creatures. This was the uh, word you missed. Do you know what a creature is, Daniel? Well, yeah, I know. Just what is it? An animal or... Yeah, it can be an animal or For example, an animal, human, human, a human, or flower, flower, a flower. Whatever. No, animals, humans, bugs, monsters, like creatures. Yeah. So usually, when we say creature, we think it, an animal, a human, uh, bugs monsters, ghosts, those are the common usages. Dinosaurs. Dino yeah, dinosaurs is possible. That's right. Serg said insects, and when we say insects, bugs, the same thing, the same thing. People are asking, what is ulcers? I will explain. I will explain ulcers. Don't worry. So uh, this and these, uh, let me hear your pronunciation. This creature, these creatures. Daniel? These creatures. Good. These and creatures. Very good. So hold on a second. I'm going to type this over again. Just a second. This 
creature, these creatures. Obviously, grammatically, uh, plural, so we need an S. But let me hear your pronunciation, especially this word again. This. This creature. Not this creature. This creature. This creature. These creatures. It sounds much, much better. Very good, very good. This creature, these creatures. So if you watch my pronunciation, this, this. Very relaxed, this, this. These, these. And you're, it's very horizontal for these. The plural is these, these. Okay, great job. And, uh, yeah, everything else was really good. I'm going to skip ulcers. Just wait, you guys. Uh, Sergey, are you back? Sergey said he's going to be back in a minute, uh, but let me see if he's online now. Sergey, are you there? And we do have a bunch of other people. Uh, Alice, Daniel has joined us. Hi, Daniel. Uh, Tuang Long Vu has joined us. Welcome, everybody. If you have something to say, if you, if you want to say something, please use the hand button which is on the right side of the control panel on the bottom. It's a yellow hand. So anybody who can tell me what an ulcer is? Anybody? Raise your hand. Skin disease. Daniel, go ahead. Skin disease. Maybe rash. Uh, uh, I'm not sure exactly. Ah, a rash. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. Let me go to Gabriel. Gabriel, uh, Gabriel doesn't have his mic. Uh, I'll turn your mic on. Gabriel? A kind of Eunice. A kind of what? Eunice. Ah, uh, illness. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Get your L. A kind of illness. Illness. One more time. A, ki a kind of Eunice. Listen to the... Watch me carefully. Illness, illness. A kind of illness. That's better. I need, I need your tongue. Ill. You, illness. Okay, that sounds better. That sounds better. Very good. A kind of illness. I'll accept that. Uh, Daniel also raised his hand. Daniel Barbo. Daniel, can you tell us what an ulcer is? Uh, ulcer. It is a problem in, in your stomach. A problem and in your stomach. What kind of problem? It is caused by uh, uh, many... Uh, there are many, many causes. Uh, bad uh, uh, habits of food. Bad foods, bad, bad uh, foods that don't agree with you, not good, right? Spicy foods. And, yeah, and uh, also it's, it is caused by uh, uh, stress. Stress? And, yeah, and it is a kind of uh, 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 burning in the, in the walls of your stomach. Excellent. So let me stop. So, so in your stomach... If you have an ulcer, basically it's a hole. It's a hole in your stomach, right? Yeah. Yes. And the acid in your stomach because of a food reaction or maybe too much stress, you can, you can develop an ulcer. You can get a hole in your stomach and it can be very uncomfortable and very painful. So, Daniel, if you have an ulcer... Should you drink Coca-Cola or milk? Never. <laughs> Never uh, drink Coca-Cola uh, with an ulcer. Uh, uh, I, I, I think you can, you cannot drink both. So, both so you say, are, uh, so both are not, not good. Uh, I, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, uh, they say milk ferment. Milk In ferments. Your, Yep, that ferments there is in your there. stomach, and it's not good for ulcer. That's true. That that uh, might be true. Yes, uh, the as uh, the problem is that the as uh, the, uh, the concentration of acid in your stomach causes uh, causes ulcer. 
That's exactly right. So the acid in the stomach makes a hole, a hole in the wall, and that is an ulcer. And Gabriel, did you have something to add? No. No, your hand was up. I I'm, just, I'm, I'm just listening. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Daniel raised his hand. Daniel, do you have something to add? Well, my friend, my good friend Google says that the, uh, there's two types of ulcers, uh, a skin ulcer and a uh, stomach ulcer. Yes. Yeah, that's a good point. There are two types of ulcers, a skin ulcer and a stomach ulcer. Now, in America, if you say ulcer, 99% of the people will think a stomach ulcer. However, uh, you could have a, an ulcer on your face, and it's basically a, 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 it looks like a cut, but it's usually round. You can have an ulcer on your, on your arm. So if you have skin cancer, you'll have an ulcer, and it's like a, an open cut that never heals. Uh, that would be the idea of a skin ulcer. That's right. So they, they do have uh, uh, those two. That's right. Anything else? Who, you said it's you like found that or game. your girlfriend found that? Daniel, who found that information? Uh, I mean Google. Uh, Google Google is your girlfriend. <laughs> and yeah, I mean friend, my good friend. No, no friend. <laughs> yes, Google is my good friend too. <laughs> okay, very good. Oh, this is great. Ahmed is a pharmacist. Yes, Ahmed. So, Ahmed, I oops, I'm trying to turn your mic on. There we go. Uh, Ahmed, if somebody has an ulcer. Can they drink milk? Is milk okay? Yeah, yeah. Milk is okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Daniel is, is wrong. To... Daniel's crazy. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you should be drink Coca-Cola. <laughs> so, so, what else can you have for an ulcer? What other types of medicine? Uh, is there anything else that's that's good for you to drink or eat. What about an orange or an apple? Uh, no, an, uh, an empty stomach. It's very, uh, it's very bad on empty stomach. Uh, so you have uh, yeah, to eat uh, something uh, before any acids, uh, which accelerate uh, uh, the ulcers. Uh, it's go bad. Uh, okay. So they are, uh, they are very, very important medicine for, for that. Right. There, there are many types of medicine, but for regular food, uh, don't you shouldn't eat like a, a fruit, like an apple or an orange on an empty stomach. That's, that's going to be very uncomfortable, right? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. And uh, we've got a couple more people joining, so I just want to say once again, hello to everybody. Uh, thank you very much for joining FNL. Uh, on Google, we can only have nine people, but right now we have 13 people, uh, and this is really great. I'm very happy that everybody has joined. And just to remind everybody, um, if right now your mic microphones are on mute, so if you have uh, if you have to say if you want to say something, please use the hand. Uh, button on the control panel. There's a control panel on the right side of your screen and there should be a hand there. So if you have something to say, uh, you can add that. Uh, Andika has has raised her hand. Andika, did you have something to share? Yes, I would like to know how many of us now? Uh, there are 13 of you right now. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, uh, Serg, and Serg has, hold on a second, Serg. Yes, Serg, go ahead. Ah, when an ulcer, ah, if you have an ulcer, the worst drink is Coca-Cola or Fanta. Yeah, it's those, what do they call it, uh, CO2 gases, those CO2 gases 
will destroy your stomach. Um, I think in general, we should not be drinking very much Coca-Cola or Fanta anyway. However, if you look in my refrigerator, you will see Fanta. I do like orange Fanta. Sometimes. Sometimes. And Gabriel says, in George Orwell's book, 1984, the main character had an ulcer. Wow! Excellent trivia. Right now in America and the UK, George Orwell's 1984 is coming true. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. Okay, the carbon gas. That's right. That's right. The carbon gas. Now, I'm going to clear out all these questions. If anybody has a question, they can write in a question and uh, I'll answer it. Or if you want to say something, Daniel Barbel. I cannot believe it. Daniel Barber wants to say something. Yes, Daniel. Uh, I don't want. I don't. I'm. I'm not in a position to argue with uh, pharmacologist, a pharmacist. <laughs> a pharmacist. But uh, 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 what I know is that when you are with a strong pain in your stomach, you do, you and you you drink milk. Uh, the pain passes. The the pain uh, the pain goes down. away. Yeah, but what I know is that uh, milk did uh, not uh, uh, is not good for ulcer because uh, it causes a fermentation a fermentation in your stomach and it. Uh, 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 turns your ulcer much much worse. Okay, so that, so what you're saying is by drinking milk, it might feel better, but actually the to, milk the milk could make the ulcer worse. That's what you're saying, yeah, right? Te temporarily, uh, the pain the pain gets down. Okay, but, so, yep. But the fermentation of the milk. Uh, turns your ulcer uh, worse. Very good. So I'll write this down. It could ferment. Daniel, explain what ferment means. Uh, I don't know the, the process of a fermentation, but uh, I don't know. I'll I explain. Know, I'll explain. I'll explain. It's easy. Listen, so let me explain uh, ferment. And I'm going to mute everybody again. Uh, so the idea of ferment, it's really simple. If you take some grapes, some regular grapes, and you take the grapes and put them into a Coca-Cola bottle, and then you cover the top of the bottle, the grapes begin to decay. And gas is released and the balloon will get big. And then the gases will escape and the balloon will go down. And then if you take the balloon off, then you can, if you drink it, it could be wine or it could be vinegar. So by taking grapes and keeping them in a closed area so that gas can build, that's the fermentation process. That's how we make wine and vinegar and stuff like that. So uh, this is the idea of fermentation. Enrique, Enrique, Enrique left a message. This software is so awesome. However, I'm trying to figure out how to use it. <laughs> yes, um, Enrique, this is a good software. There are some problems. Uh, people cannot chat with each other. And, uh, and uh, so that, that's the biggest problem. Uh, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. Now, once again, for the people who are just arriving, there's a, on the right side of your computer monitor, there's a control panel, a very thin control panel. And on the bottom of the control panel, there's a hand. It looks like this. It's yellow. So if you have something to say, uh, you can push that button, and I'll see that. Or you can use the question area and type in a question.
Okay, I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to give you the answers and I'm going to explain some pronunciation to everybody here. Uh, and Daniel, I'll take your question. Daniel T, uh, did you have a question or a comment? Oops, I didn't mute your mic, sorry. Uh, okay, Daniel, your mic is on. Yeah, I, I just want to, yeah, yeah, I just want to say that uh, uh, the first, first time it, it looked like uh, these sectors st uh, had, been st had been stuffed with dates. One more time. Uh, at first look, uh, well, it looked like uh, these sacks, sack, sacks uh, had been stuffed with uh, dates. Yes, yes, that, dates. that's right. So inside, so Daniel is saying that uh, he thought that these were dates, which is a type of fruit, very uh, common, especially in, uh, in the Middle East, dates. Uh, but oh my goodness. These are not dates. <laughs> These are cockroaches. <laughs> ah, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm curious as to what other people thought, too. Let me talk about pronunciation, and then I'm going to ask some of you to uh, read this. So once again, got a, gotta, gotta, gotta. We have the flat T sound, gotta, gotta burn, bad skin, ulcers. So a burn on your skin, a bad skin, maybe you have acne or zits, you know, pimples everywhere, ulcers, ulcers on the skin maybe, but probably ulcers in the stomach. Do you have a burn? Do you have bad skin? Do you have ulcers? Then for medicine, for treatment, how about, how about, so make sure we connect here, how about some, so we have a stop sound. How about some ground up cockroaches, ground up cockroaches? So once again, does everybody know what a cockroach is? I hope everybody knows what a cockroach is. Ground up, what does ground up mean? It means you take a cockroach and you make it into a powder. So you have a cockroach, a dried cockroach and then a powder. <sighs> Sounds really disgusting. A special breed of these critters. So when we talk about cockroaches, actually there are many types of cockroaches. There's the German cockroach, the American cockroach. Uh, what else? Maybe the Asian cockroach, I don't know, but there are many. Some of the cockroaches are big. Some cockroaches can fly. Some of the cockroaches are tiny. So there are many types. In this case, I use the word breed, okay? And breed is the same idea as type. There are many types. So a special breed, not any breed, a special breed, a very special breed, of these critters, of these insects, of these bugs, may be, and this is separate, it's two words, might be, might be coming to a hospital near you. So in your neighborhood, maybe tomorrow you can go to the doctor or the pharmacist and ask, do you have any dried cockroaches? I'd like to buy some ground up cockroaches. Probably not. Uh, oh. Extra information and deep fried. So cooking, deep fried. So you got a big pan and you got lots of oil and you take the cockroaches and put them in the oil. Deep fried cockroaches. They're a good source of protein. So if you're a vegetarian but you can eat insects, then you can get your protein from cockroaches. Doesn't that sound delicious? <laughs> okay, uh, now let me go through a couple people here. I want to hear pronunciation first. And I have two questions first. I've got Daniel Barbel and Daniel T. Daniel T. Daniel T. First, uh, what was your question or comment? Well, I just want to say that uh, uh, the word cockroach kind of uh, 
Uh, well, I, I remember one old song, one old Spanish song that called La Cucaracha. Can you sing it? <laughs> I don't know. La Cucaracha. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, Badnan, Badnan. I'm sorry. Hi, Shane. Really, I'm so eager to participate with you in FNL, but unfortunately, my mic isn't working. Or, uh, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Badnan, Badnan. Uh, several of the people, their microphone isn't working. That's okay. Uh, you can still participate by typing. Okay, so so you can stay. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, let me go to Daniel Barbo. Go ahead, Daniel. Yeah, there, there is a great move uh, with Dustin Hoffman called... A movie with Dustin Hoffman, okay? Called Papillon. Papillon. Pa Papillon. Uh, uh, it, it passes in a prison and uh, it, 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 it is just an information. Oh yeah, and, and and they have to eat cockroaches because they don't have any food. Yeah, I think that's the spelling. Pap it looks like papillon, yeah. but it's papillon. Uh, uh, papillon is cockroach in French. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh yes, this is a very famous movie. If anybody has not seen the movie, I do recommend uh, Papillon, as Daniel said. But yes, in the movie, he has to kill a cockroach and he eats it. Oh, Santa Raisin says, Papillon, doesn't that mean butterflies? Daniel? Butterfly? Butterfly? Papillon, Papillon might mean butterfly. Go ahead, Santa. <laughs> so, so Daniel is arguing with pharmacists tonight, and ah yes, Badnan, Badnan says in French, yes. So in French, so help us out, Badnan, Badnan. I hope my pronunciation is correct. I'm sorry. Uh, in French, Papillon is cockroach or butterfly. Tell us. I'll wait for the answer. <laughs> Butterfly. Okay, so so anyway, Daniel, that's okay. That's okay. It's a great movie. So so papillon in French uh, actually means butterfly, but they're still insects. They're all delicious. Now let me go to who should I go to? Uh, I'm gonna pick uh, three people. I'm gonna pick Tuan Long Vu. Tuan, are you there? Is your microphone? Whose microphone? That's what I'll do. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. Raise your yes, Tuan. Is your mic okay? Uh, is your microphone working? Two other people. If your microphone is working, raise your hand, and I'll ask you to read it in a second. Tuan, can you hear me? Is your microphone working, Tuan? Oh, I guess not. That's okay. That's okay. You can still stay with us. Uh, Gabriel, Oops. Gabriel, be careful with the speaker. I'm going to turn your mic on again. Okay. Uh, so Gabriel, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Oh. Gabriel, be careful because I think your microphone is too close to the speakers. So we get a really bad sound. Okay. So, uh, try and fix that and I'll come back to you. Uh, we'll go back to Daniel T. Daniel T, read the whole story here, and I'm going to check your pronunciation, okay? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, Gilburn, Baskin, authors, how about some ground-up cockroaches? A special breed of, special breed of these critter, critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, they're a good source of protein. 
too. Good job, RoboCop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. What? You sound like a machine speaking, but actually your pronunciation was very good. However, I want you to read this sentence one more time, please. Only this sentence. Okay. A special breed of these creatures may be coming to a hospital near you. It's terrible! A special breed. A special breed. Of these critters. Of these critters. May be coming to a hospital near you. May be coming to a hospital near you. <laughs> One more time. A special breed of these critters may be coming to a hospital near you. Much, much better. Much better. So remember, once again, especially for many students, uh, Daniel, your pronunciation alone is pretty good. But you need to get that rhythm, that rhythm, and you need to understand what the key words are in a sentence. So in this sentence, a special breed of these critters, a little bit long, may be coming to a hospital near you. Okay, so that's kind of the tone uh, that we're going to have. And I know in the beginning it's tough, uh, but we need to, to practice that stuff. Daniel, you did really good. Uh, good job. Let me go. I'm going to go to... Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel this time. Gabriel, can you please read the story? Oh, the story? Yes, Gotta Burn, starting from Gotta Burn. Yes. Gotta Burn, bare skin, ocious. How about some grown-up croc rushes? A special breed of these creatures may be coming to a hostel near you. Oh, and deep fried, they are a good source of protein. Very good, very good. Let's get a couple of words here. Ulcers. Ulcers. Very good. Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Very good. A hospital. A hospital. Very good. Protein. Protein. More tea. Protein. Protein. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, so when you're reading, you know, if you go too fast, sometimes it's difficult to understand words. Um, so don't go so fast, okay? Okay. I just, I just want you to share some information about the cockroaches in Brazil. Yes. Well, here in Brazil, the cockroaches are such are disgusting creatures. Almost the the persons in Brazil thinks that a crack rushes are a disgusting creature. Yes. The same in America, the same in America. We think they're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If it's if it if there's some medical benefit, maybe we should be eating them. Yeah. <laughs> would you would you eat a uh, cockroach. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Never. No, I don't think so. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> okay, let me get uh, one more person. One more person whose whose microphone is working. Raise your hand, please. Raise your hand, and I'll turn your microphone on, and I'll have you read it, and then we'll go to the next story. One more person. Nobody. Ahmed, okay, good. So let me get Ahmed's mic on. Everybody else lost. Uh, Ahmed, please read the story, sir. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Let's get answers. How about some ground up uh, cockroaches, a special brand of these uh, creatures, may be coming to a hospital near you. Oh, and deep fried, there are good sources of protein too. All right, Robocop 2. That was pretty good, except if you read it like that, it's very difficult to understand. So let's go back one sentence at a time. First sentence again, Ahmed. Got a burn. Okay. Got a burn. Got a burn. Got a burn. Good. So first of all, the, the sentence grammatically should be, do you have a burn? Do you have a burn? But in daily English, we just say, do you got a burn? And then we get rid of do you 
Got to burn. Got to burn. One more time. Got to burn. Get that N sound. Got to burn. Get the bar. Burn. Bear. Good. Bad skin. Ulcers. One more time, the first sentence. Uh, okay. Uh, get a burn, bad skin, ulcers. How about some ground up cockroaches? Cockroaches. Ground up cockroaches. The whole sentence. Okay. Uh, go to burn, but skin, ulcers. How about some ground up cockroaches? Very good. And do the, the next sentence, please. A special pride of these creatures may be coming to a hospital near you. Near okay, you. good. A special breed of these critters. Get that TH sound. A special breed of these critters. A special breed of these critters. These, these, these. There you go. A special breed of these critters. Very good, very good. And do the last sentence, please, Ahmed. Okay. Uh, and the fried are uh, there are a good source of protein too. Very good. Once again, that th. They're a good source. They're a good source. They're a good source of protein too. Excellent job. Great job. Uh, very good. Very good. And uh, right now, we, we keep growing. This is great. We have uh, 17 people uh, in the, in the uh, hangout today. This is really fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for joining.